Didi, there are so many different styles of meditation out there. And um, I know that at Brahma Kumaris, uh, you primarily focus on Raj Yoga meditation. So if you could please talk about that and also how the busy people out there can take advantage of this style of Raj Yoga meditation. Sure, sure. Okay. Um, I myself have been studying Raj Yoga meditation for over 40 years, oh, actually. Wow. Okay. Um, so it's been a, a, a lifelong practice, right. almost. <laughs> right, right. Um, and I think what's important about Raj Yoga meditation is that it's not only just about using the mind mm -hmm. and how we direct the mind, mm -hmm. but it really is going into the depth of spiritual understanding. Okay. And as I mentioned, the first understanding is of the self, self. going into the depth of my spiritual mm -hmm. identity. Mm -hmm. So yes, I have all the roles that I play, mm -hmm. I have all the things that identify me in the world and other people identify me as that. But actually, when people think about me, mm -hmm. or we think about other people, mm -hmm. you actually think about the kind of person they are. Okay. And that's on the inside. Okay. And so here we're now in Raj Yoga, looking at the inner being. Okay. And Raja means the sovereign yoga. Uh -huh. Okay. So it's about becoming the sovereign of the self. Okay. And that's only possible if I understand myself deeply. So what do we mean by understanding ourselves deeply? <laughs> sure, sure. The inner being. Uh -huh. We would say, okay, in answer to the question, who am I? Mm -hmm. Rather than all those external things, we would say, I am a soul. Mm -hmm. Now, when I first heard that, I thought, it's so simple uh -huh. and it's so true. Mm -hmm. I focus on being that being. Now, that takes me away from all the external props and dependencies. And as I contemplate on that, I begin to experience the inner qualities of the soul that are actually constantly with me, mm -hmm. but they've become buried because of all the busyness. Okay. And those qualities are qualities that we all share, every single human being or every single human soul mm -hmm. on this earth shares. And I think there are no prizes for guessing what those are. Of course, first is peace, peace. then love, mm -hmm. then truth, okay. then happiness, okay. then strength, okay. inner power. Mm -hmm. Now, when I begin to access those qualities inside, and they begin to guide my life, okay. rather than all the external influences guiding my life, mm -hmm. then I can begin to be a self-sovereign. Um, this sounds very powerful, but at the same time, I'm trying to sit here and visualize, um, like, yes, I'm a soul, and I have these qualities, but how do I access them? I mean, right. going within, that's a journey, but how do I get to that? Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. so first the understanding that the soul is light, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Energy, spiritual energy, which is different in nature to the physical energy of mm -hmm. the body. Yes. Soul is light. The soul has a focus in the body, here in the center of the forehead. Okay. People talk about the third eye, right. every faith has rituals right. connected here. Right. It's actually the seat of the soul okay. itself. Okay. And so when we first meditate, we actually visualize that point of light okay. in the center of the forehead. Okay. And as you visualize it, and as you contemplate on the original state of peace of the self, in fact, visualizing it and simply saying to the self, very simply, I am a being of peace. I, the soul, am a being of peace. And as you do that, it's like the other awareness begins to fade away and you really become that light. Mm. And you come into the experience. Of course, it takes practice. Right. It, you know, For some people it happens instantly, mm. which is really beautiful. They mm. just get it because it's actually a shift in consciousness right. that's happening. Right. 
consciousness from the body, outer world. external outer consciousness to the inner consciousness. We call inner consciousness or soul consciousness. Right. Once that shift happens, it becomes easy to mm. access my inner qualities. But I need the understanding and then that little bit of practice mm -hmm. to make the shift so that I then am able to access those qualities inside. Okay. And I know for me, um, a very important quality to access or to experience is truth. Truth. Because I want my life to be guided by truth because I feel that makes me strong mm. and enables me to have strong values in my life mm -hmm. and to use wisdom in my life. Mm -hmm. Because too often we say, yes, I have good values. I want to be kind. Um, I want to be honest. Um, I want to be you know, respectful towards others. But if we come up against a situation which is very difficult for us mm -hmm. and we can't tolerate a person, a situation, our values become compromised. Okay. So we lose the love and get angry, for example. Yes. You, know, you can have many examples. Yes. So that's why I feel that quality of inner truth can give me the strength to guide me. Okay. But the other aspect of Raj Yoga, of course, is that what is connecting with the self, mm -hmm. my real inner mm -hmm. being, the other is connecting with the source connecting with the divine. Right, right. And once I begin to make that connection, because mm -hmm. once I'm soul conscious, mm -hmm. as we said, mm -hmm. it's like I'm on a I'm operating on a different vibration. Mm -hmm.